Thank you for joining us for the fire weather briefing for Thursday, August 20th, 2015 from the National Weather Service in Missoula. I'm meteorologist Dan Zumpf. First of all, we're going to look at north central Idaho. Friday winds and humidity. We have wind gusts in miles per hour on the left and afternoon humidity percent on the right. We can see that juxtaposed low humidities and high winds. We're going to see this combination present from 1100 to 2000 hours local and we're going to see south winds in the morning shifting to westerly in the middle of the day and finally northwest winds later on in the day. Conditions will improve after sunset. For western Montana, the Friday wind and humidity combination, you can see on the left fairly high winds, uh, especially near Glacier National Park. And on the right, fairly low humidities throughout the area, particularly west central and southwest Montana. So strongest wind, lowest humidity combination is for fire weather zones 104 to 108 from 1100 local until a cold front passes and that's going to occur between 1500 and 1800 local time. And for fire weather zones 109 to 111, uh, 1100 local through 2000 local there's no discernible cold front, so there will be a longer period of impact. Southwest winds will be shifting to the west to northwest across the area throughout the day. And finally, looking at Friday afternoon evening rainfall, behind the front there are thunderstorms possible along the cold front. These will be mainly across northwest Montana. Here's a Friday precipitation map in inches. You'll notice that the more orangey colors at the north end of the map uh, show where the most likely wetting rains are and is also a proxy for thunderstorms. And unfortunately, there is no rain likely in north central Idaho during this time, only confined up to far northwest Montana and Glacier Park. And this is the last rain chance until at least Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. Looking at the Saturday through Monday outlook, uh, we see dry and warm high pressure return to the area with valley humidity in the daytime in the teens, mountain daytime humidity in the mid-teens to mid-twenties, poor overnight uh, humidity recovery on ridges, and predominant winds will be terrain driven, upslope daytime and downslope nighttime, very stable conditions, so valley temperature inversions will trap smoke and thereby uh, decrease local visibility once again. Thank you for joining us. The next briefing is Sunday, August 23rd. If you need more information, please go to weather.gov slash Missoula, or please call us at the Fire Weather Forecaster line listed below. Thank you. Have a nice day.